So you would assume that a lot of kids could get crushed under the weight of their parents being so famous to the point of where you feel like, well, what's the point? We have money and there's no way I can ever yeah, I'm never going to get there. my parents. Right. I mean, I'm, the truth is I'm probably, I probably can't. And there's something kind of nice about that because it just, it, that, then that really makes me have to just do what I love. So, like, how am I ever going to be as accomplished as my dad? I probably won't. But, but the reason he's so accomplished is because he loves what he does and because every moment for him is like getting better, is being, being better at, at something. It's not about um, like gaining people's respect. And also at, when he did what he did at every step, he was like the first one there. So like Michael Jackson asked the record company if my dad could produce Off the Wall and they were like, no, 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 he's too jazzy. We're not doing that. We're do we want a disco record. And he was like, too bad, I'm working with him. And they made this thing that like changed everything. Like he just kept changing things, not because he was like, oh, I'm gonna revolutionize. He just like did the things that he loved and was good at, you know? Well, that's, you have the front row seat to the best example of, of what an artist is, which is you have to be fearless, right? Because the other scenario of that is your dad could have said, well, let's not push too hard. I don't want to mess up your deal right. with the studio, and maybe I'm not ready yet. Yeah. You know, and you got to take it. Is, I mean, do you feel that way? Do you feel like at some point you, you just have to step up and, and say, okay, I'm, I'm going to take this, whether or not people want to give it to me? Yeah, I mean, that's one of the greatest gifts that my parents have given me. They both have a very much like a fuck this attitude, which is like, if it feels right to you, if it's in your heart, if it's, if it's worthy, then just do it, you know? My dad, like one of the many great pieces of advice that my dad gives me over and over again is make decisions based on love and not fear. And that's applicable all the time. When you're standing on the precipice of a decision, there is always this moment where you're like, well, but if I do this, I'm gonna like fuck with other people's feelings about me or I, it might mess up this relationship. And that is not the place to make a decision from. You can't. Right. I mean, that's the thing that my dad was insistent about. Is you don't just, you know, you're not just gonna like just casually take something up. You have to know what you're doing. You have to always be a student, always. You, there's never the end, the end of learning.